Hello Internet, my name is Aaron Garcia and today I have a special product for you. This is the Surf by On. And yes, that's a creative name. This is uh, Walmart's brand, On. Uh, there's On, spelled two, with two N's instead of one N. Uh, and what's so special about this monitor? Well, it's not the brand name that matters, it's the price. And this is the best price for this size of monitor in full HD that you're going to find anywhere. And believe me, I've looked. So uh, what I want to show you today is whether or not this monitor is the monitor for you as a second monitor at work or, you know, if you want to buy two and have two identical monitors. Uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Uh, first off, I am looking at the box and it's telling me that I get an HDMI input, one. I only need one because uh, you're using this for a computer. Uh, 60 hertz refresh rate. It's not exactly a gaming monitor, but it's great. Um, and then let's look at the back here. Uh, so the back shows me that it's 1080 resolution, uh, HDMI 1 input. Uh, it's got a VGA input. That's also very good because if you need uh, one of those older computer cables. Uh, it's got a Slender V uh, stand on it. And uh, it does come with a 4.8 foot HDMI cable, almost 5 feet. So uh, that's really all you need. You just need the monitor, the HDMI cable, and a good price. So uh, when, at the time of buy, purchasing this monitor, I bought it for $75 on, at, well actually at Walmart. I, went, I didn't go online, I just went into the store, saw it, said I'm gonna buy it. So I did. And so with no further ado, let's open this box. So let's go here. All right. And the first thing I notice about this packaging is it is this nice blue color. Sorry, it's blocking my face. Okay, so when you first open the box, you're greeted with the stand. And the stand is very nice. This is lovely V-shaped stand. And we'll pull it out, packaging, give you a nice look at it. Uh, real, real nice here. Uh, it's got this plastic wrap to keep it looking nice. V-shape, doesn't take up much space. Not much footprint on your desk, just like that. And you've got your power cable. And it is a two-prong, non-polarized plug. So that means you can plug it in, up or down, doesn't matter. And yeah, this is, this is very nice, very simple. Not really branded anywhere. I don't see it. And oh, what else you get? Oh, the extra part of the monitor. Uh, stand. So I take it that you take your monitor stand, stick it like this, and voila, you've got a monitor stand. And for the main attraction, the monitor itself. So let's open this, pull this out very carefully. After all, it's still a screen. And uh, get some more cables. One thing I am noticing is it smells really good in this box. I don't think they put a vanilla scent in it. I know some manufacturers like to put scents in their boxes so that you uh, transfer the good feeling. Like they'll put vanilla, for example, or chocolate. Uh, so that, you know, if you like chocolate or vanilla, you transfer that liking to the product. I know Apple is really known for doing that. But I don't think they're doing that here. It just has this nice scent to it. It's probably just everything all the materials they're using smells like a new product. That's my favorite smell unboxing things. So um, this monitor looks good, as you can see. Uh, the screen looks very, very clean, fingerprintless. I'm going to try to keep it that way. Uh, and oh, let's take a look at it down here. You'll see some buttons. So what do we have here? Uh, it looks like a menu button, two arrow buttons. An input button, I guess to toggle between the HDMI and the VGA and a power button at the very end, right there. So that's the power button. So, it's underneath. Uh, and aside from that, there's really nothing else on the monitor other than, oh, there's a little uh, notification there for you to know what the buttons do, which I just told you. So, um, very simple branding, it says on, and has all this wrap on it. So let's put it together. Uh, there's not much that you have to do to put it together. Uh, I'm going to look at the instructions and everything they gave us real quick. 
Let's see here. We've got an HDMI cable, and yes, we've got some screws. And they are two um, Phillips screws. And I have another Walmart purchase, which is this HyperTough, also a Walmart brand, uh, home tool kit set thing. So let's open it up and get some tools out and a screwdriver, particularly a Phillips one. So I think this will do the trick. There's all your tools. And I'm just gonna pick one randomly. I think this will be our winner. So again, shameless plug for Walmart and their Walmart branded stuff. So here we go. Cool, get a hammer too. But we won't need that today. Let's just take this out for a second. Close it up, put that on the floor, and put together our monitor, which looks very good. So I probably, I probably should have said I needed scissors as well. Uh, but it's okay, I can get creative. I'll try this at home, folks. Just kidding. I think you can handle that. So, let's see here. Uh, we're going to put this together like so. Crack the plastic. But there you go, the monitor is now snug. I feel safe about it. And we can now stick the monitor onto the stand, which went on perfectly. There you go. Flip this around so you can appreciate this monitor. So that's what the screen looks like. Uh, it's nice, a good size from what I can tell so far. And this is the back. This is your I.O. panel. Got your HDMI port, VGA uh, port, and your power uh, port. So not much to it, very simple. You've also got a VESA mount spot. So if you want to not use this stand, you want to mount it somewhere, uh, you can do that as well. So what we're going to do right now, if I don't knock it over, it says it could tilt. I don't know. I'm not going to try it right now. So like I said earlier, the power plug is non-polarized, so you can plug it any direction you want. I'm going to flip this over just so our camera woman can see it. Thank you, camera woman. And Let's see, so it's powered on. There's the screen, and there is the Chromebook. Uh, uh, let's see, there's a the Chrome screen. So let's take a look at this screen and we'll get an idea of what, how we feel about it. It's a nice color. That's one thing I can say right off. Very nice color. The detail looks good for what I paid for it, and uh, it looks sharp. I like, I like the uh, icons. It is 1080, so you can see that's really nice. I've got to get this sticker off, which is stuck on pretty darn good. I don't want to scratch my new monitor, but I don't know how I'm going to get this off. Okay, so Walmart, if you are watching this video, please do not put the sticker on the monitor screen itself. Put it, you know, where I can at least peel it off, because that was very difficult. Um, aside from that, I think the monitor is really, really nice. So, leave a comment in the comment section below if you like this monitor, if you think you want to get one. If you have one, what you think of it, I can tell you right now, in the first few minutes of powering it up, I like it. It's nice. It's going to serve the purpose uh, for which I bought it for. Uh, I bought it for office work. I wanted a second monitor at work, and I didn't want to spend too much. And this is great. This is actually amazing for the price. So... Uh, I will leave a link in the description below on where you can get this monitor at Walmart. Thank you for watching, and please like, subscribe, and comment for more videos. See you next time.